Because women don't want self-control. Women want to say their mind and go all reactive and going all crazy. They're overdramatic. But you can use that as a shit test. See, how are you going to react? <laughs> Drew's yourself up. And this video topic will be about she loves drama. Let's get into it. Women love drama, man. They love that shit. Women, the most emotional creature out here, the most sporadic and picky, the girls who gossip, the women who gossip, that starts from a young age all the way to when they're old. It never leaves them. Women love drama. They love the energy. Why? Because they love the emotional spikes. They like manipulating, having fun, out of boredom, out of need, out of admiration or attention. Because women love attention. Women love when shit happens. They love picking fights for the women. They love getting with guys and having guys fight over them. I say love in the terms of they find it pathetic and above guys who fight over them. Not in terms of you get with girls by fighting over them. That's how it works. Women are like cats. Chase it, it'll go away. Ignore it, and it'll come. But women love drama. They love it. They love making a big deal out of small things. Because they just want to complain about it. Something to complain about. Something to get emotional about. So I want a chick likes a guy, she gets so emotional over him, she'll cry, she'll get angry, she'll get yelling, she'll get emotional, she'll get sad and depressed. The entire fucking, <clears throat> the entire fucking roller coaster of emotions. Women love drama, she will make things hard on you. For multiple reasons. She's bored, she wants fun, she wants to gossip and be bitchy about it. For girlfriends behind your back, behind other women's back. Women love to judge other women. Their clothes, their looks, their attitude, their makeup. Women women wear makeup because other women judge them about it. Guys don't care if you wear that much makeup or not. Guys prefer you don't wear makeup. At least you won't be catfished. Guys don't want to be catfished. Guys don't want to wake up with a chick and be like, damn, you don't look like what you looked like last night. Women are insecure. The more insecure you are, the more you can be picky, more dramatic, more feminine. And women are insecure. That's why they love drama. That's why they like to complain about things and make things a bigger deal. One of the reasons why she did it, like I said, she bored him. Another reason, entertainment. She wants to have fun and manipulate. Another reason is she's, she's shit testing you to see how you're going to react. Because women don't want self-control. Women want to just say their mind and go all reactive and going all crazy. They're overdramatic. But you can use that as a shit test. See, how are you going to react? Are you going to go and get emotional like her? Are you going to go and fall into your feminine frame? Because she's getting all feminine and complacent? Or are you going to stick into your masculine? Like in a true fucking alpha. Women can use drama as a shit test. As a bitch test, if you fail to me a shit test, your job is to be masculine. Your job is to be masculine. Frame, masculine frame. Don't take it seriously. Don't take it seriously. Ch women act like children. Do not take a child seriously if they act like it. Because it's a child, it doesn't know better. It's immature. They'll complain, they make big deals out of small things. Big deals out of the smallest things. And if you let that thing get off, get you off your balance, she, she won't respect you, man. How can she respect a man that gets so off balance by her just complaining about stuff? Another reason why women make drama out of things is because they're jealous. <laughs> or they're just feeling like it because they are emotional. Women hate the flat line. They hate when nothing happens. Women would rather be feeling depressed and horrible than to feel nutting and be stagnant. Drama, gossiping, judgy, jealousy, immaturity gives them the roller coaster of emotions. They'll feel something, and that feeling is what motivates their entire being of the day, of the moment, because women live in the moment, men live in the future. We think before we act. Women act before they think. 
Man, think about it. Why do you think women love drama so much? Why do you think they love watching the films and the series with the love triangles and the big deals and the pregnancy and the family issues and the complaining and the boss issues and the whole them being the underdog or them going through bad things or making big deals out of stuff. Big deals out of, oh, I'm not wearing the right high heels going crazy. Why do you think women love drama, drama shows and thrillers so freaking much? The love triangle. Oh my god, which one is she going to choose? Making their life complicated. Because women want interesting things to happen. And when it's nothing interesting, they just make a big deal out of everything. To where they always feel like something big, something serious happening. Even when it's not. Now what's going to happen if she does that with you? going to break? going to bend over? You're going to cry? You're going to get emotional? You're going to take her seriously? Are you? Because if you are, you're going to dry her up. She's going to get turned off as fuck. Because women go and be dramatic and go and talk to their beta male friends about it. Oh, this guy did me so bad. He's such an asshole. And you over there right there being a beta little simp vagina. You're so, you're so right. How could he do that? I never knew that to you. And after what happens, she goes and fucks <clears throat> the guy that was making her feel that emotion. Because you were just there being the emotional tampon. See, women don't give themselves to guys who don't value themselves. Women don't give themselves to guys who are their bitch. Women don't give themselves to guys who are weak, who have a shitty frame, who aren't strong, who don't stand up to them. Her being a dramatic is part of her nature, but it's also a way to shit test men to see, are you, are you a man who bends over easily? Do you have a strong will, a strong backbone or not? Can you handle my bullshit and put me in my place if I cross the line or not? So you can't change it. Women are dramatic. They live for it. Are you going to bend over or not? Because women women lack control in their life. The only place where women don't lack control is when it comes to relationships. When it comes to sex. So when women have an opportunity to be in control of something... They'll abuse it. They'll abuse the power. They'll go all in. Judge, judging another girl, they'll go all in. Call her slut, this and that. Make up things. They'll get emotional about something. When a woman gets emotional, 2 plus 2 doesn't equal 4. It equals 3 or equals 5. Or equals 10. When she gets emotional, 2 plus 2 equals 5. That's her logic. Then when she calms down, she realizes, oh, well, I was wrong. But she won't admit it. Women don't admit it. See, she gets off of playing with stuff. She gets off of playing with things, of creating drama, creating problems. Women love that thing. They also do it sometimes if they're just not happy where they are and they just want to self-sabotage. If a woman's not happy, example, in a relationship or dating or sex or whatever, she will complain to a lot. She'll be in a bad fucking mood and she'll just be very unappealing masculine mess. Women do that. Women self-sabotage relationships. They either feel too good or too less or they're not satisfied or they want too much or they just want to go and screw around and they'll fuck up things or misbehave and just create problems for the heck of it. Because they're contradictive like that. What's going to happen with you? Like I said, do not, do not let them put you off your game if a woman is being dramatic don't take her seriously man uh huh mm mm-hmm. okay mm. I see uh mm. okay calm down that's it you're not falling into her frame being like oh really oh no what happened oh really oh that's it really don't fall into your feminine frame dude because it will always be dramatic. They'll always make a big deal out of everything. You, as a man, do not take it seriously. Take it at ease. The only thing you take seriously is when she disrespects you. Or she doesn't satisfy your sexual needs. That's it. Don't be butthurt about it. Don't get crazied up. Don't get all emotional about it. Because truth be told, the woman will forget all about her entire tantrum later when she feels better. 
just like that. But no, he took it seriously. He started texting her every day, calling her every day, checking on her every day, getting so obsessed with her every day. You put your life on pause. You should, you should try and help out this woman that's doing this thing that's just sabotaging her own life for fun because she or out of boredom. Some women are just dramatic pain in the asses. Learn to differentiate it. Don't forget to like my shit. Share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.